Nobody's there. Welcome to Kiss Country, Hunter Hayes. Welcome. Hey, hey. welcome. Hey. Thank you. Morning. Thanks for welcoming. Early, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah, is it is. like you don't get up this hour. I, d- I don't. I'm still. I'm, if anything, I was still. I would have been still up until about three hours ago or something like that. Yeah. Typically, yeah. All right. Well, good morning. <laughs> good Sounds morning. Like a good night. Uh, so most of your songs, <laughs> especially I Want Crazy, talking about how you want a crazy kind of relationship. Do you? Maybe. Do you really want this? Like the crazy girls out there that just blow yes, up your phone very, all the time. I'm very careful in how I explain that, and I, okay. and I do explain it in the second verse. You'll notice um, it says, <clears throat> obviously, it's it's very. Very particular. It just says we're the kind of crazy people wish that they could be, and it's and it's saying that, you know, crazy love is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. You know, when you're when you're really into somebody and it's undeniable and everybody can see it, uh, you tend to get called crazy just because it's such a rare event to be so in love. And I, I don't know. I I, I support. I, I think I don't know. I think that's what I got in mind. But you know, crazy is also like when somebody throws an ashtray at you or a, a vase or or a remote control. This sounds crazy. this this sounds like a very personal thing. It sounds, no, it's not. sounds it's like you're same. speaking from I a, may have witnessed that. A, an yeah. experience of some kind. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sort of in the dark recesses, sure. <laughs> but see so you are asking for crazy, like I don't know, be careful what you ask for. I get that a lot. Yeah, a okay. lot of people have been cautioning me about it. It's cool. It's totally cool. What's the, what's the episode involving skunks? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> Mr. Brad Paisley, mm-hmm. um, if you're listening, I apologize, but I do have to tell this story. Um, I got a call from one of my guitar heroes, obviously Brad Paisley, um, and you know he he invited me to go play something, play something on his record, which was very bizarre for me to hear. But I was invited to be a part of his the record wheelhouse, and there was a song called "Outstanding in Our Field," which is as is as is usual for Mr. Paisley, absolutely hilarious, and. Um, I went up, and I didn't. Wa- I didn't really know what to do because here I am, a, a guitar player that has studied him, mm-hmm. right? And so he's, you know, I'm playing guitar on his record, which is the most bizarre and backwards experience for someone like me. And so I went in, and I start playing, and like, it, well, you know, he 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 cautions me as I walk in. He's like, "Hey, we got a, a skunk issue." You know, we were like on the fourth floor of this like old, really cool old house that he records in, and um, okay, buddy, there's a skunk in the house. Really? Literally said it. There's a skunk under the house. They're trying to find it or something, figure out what to do. Um, so we go all the way up, and you can't smell it anymore. And then it starts getting worse. Mm-hmm. Close the door. You know, it gets, it keeps getting worse. And it's not like it was upstairs with us because it wasn't, but it was so bad that I didn't realize how bad it had got until I walked outside. And I, and I realized that I had a leather jacket and all this stuff, and all my gear completely smelled. And so then it was like. Like damage control. Then I'm headed home thinking, okay, well, I can toss my jacket outside. I can toss my gear in, like, this room. I can open the window in that room, and I can do this. And I literally drove all over town going to, like, my storage unit, going to, like, my studio, going to to, to my place, hanging my stuff on my balcony, like, trying to figure out how to get. I drove around in my car with the windows down at 2 o'clock in the morning for, like, an hour just to try to get rid of the smell. (laughs) It was it was interesting. So there really was a skunk. In there this. was it wasn't a, a practical joke. There was a skunk. Was the punchline here? It was not a practical joke that I know of. Maybe that's the punchline. Maybe he knew it the whole time. Maybe he planned He's this. He's still laughing about it. He mm-hmm. is still laughing. Thanks. Nicely done. <laughs> All right, Hunter Hayes, everybody. Thanks for dropping by Kiss Country. Yeah, thanks for letting me hang Ooh. out with you guys.